Good morning and happy St. Patrick's Day to those of y'all who celebrate that. I'm kind of decked out in my green Milwaukee Bucks stuff today uh, as a tribute to it. Uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet because y'all know I work with the the babies in the education system, so I got to get to work pretty soon. But instead of a detailed breakdown of of the show in this sense we've been waiting a long time for power book two ghost season three to get started and lauren is still alive that's why you got the funny title lauren hill isn't the only one who disappeared now i just want to know from you guys what did Effie actually do then and is is Effie like a triple agent like now you heard of double agents but is it possible that Effie has been like DEA, like this whole time. And I know that's not a thought a lot of you guys are going to have. But the very fact that she kept her alive and made it look like she killed her, to me seems like she's she's building up to, there has to be a big a bigger picture as to why she did it. Okay, so let me take you back. Even the way she appeared on the scene, She appeared on the scene out of nowhere as this drug dealer and then robbed Tariq. And somehow, instead of figuring out how am I going to kill her, like he fall in love with her. And it had a lot of people wondering whose daughter is she. Um, I can't remember... I think it was one of the plugs that Ghost used to have. But they were assuming that Effie was the daughter. But just the very fact that she went out of her way to make it seem like Lauren is dead. And then that prosecutor is the one who showed up to the door. And Lauren says, how much longer do I have to pretend that I'm dead? Effie is way... To me, she's like a plant. She's way more involved with the legal side as opposed to the drug dealing side that she's portraying. So, other than that, uh, Mary J. Blige did a great job of being miserable. She was miserable for the the whole show. Hey, you know, just just go live in Dante's uh, penthouse. Yeah, y'all can have it now. Hey, hey, uh, Diana, get out of my way so I can watch my show. Just totally disrespecting Lorenzo. Only thing I can say is the writing is slipping up a little bit. Because it's almost hinting that she knows that Lorenzo is the one who killed her son. Just to give him that utter disrespect like that without giving a real backstory as to why. So... And Tariq catches a body, but then then again, what is new? He seems like he always does. All right, y'all. Enjoy y'all Friday. I'm out.